Hello YouTube, this is Learn Tutorials, and welcome to your sixth game tutorial. Now today, I'm going to be telling you what layer masks are, but first, before I do that, I just want to tell you something um, about layers. So if you try to erase part of a layer, um, so um, before I do that, I have two pictures imported, one's on top of the other. So if I try to erase part of the top layer, instead of showing the bottom layer, what it's going to do is it's going to make this really ugly just blank white um, mark on the image so instead of um so assuming that you want that part of the layer to be transparent what you gotta do is just right click on it and click add alpha channel so whenever you erase it'll actually make that part of the layer transparent instead of just blank white um, so anyway, control Z. Um, so anyway, if I go back and add alpha channel, so um, so let's say if I want to erase part of this layer, so let's just say I erase this part and it'll show a carpet. But now, if I do a bunch of other stuff in the undo history, it'll like um stack up a whole bunch of actions that I've done. And let's say at the end, I just finally did, uh, like noticed that this is really ugly, so I wanted to um, unerase it. Now you can't unerase stuff, so I would actually have to undo all the stuff that I did, all like of the progress that could have taken hours, and until the point where I um, erased this, and then I would have to manually redo everything which is a huge waste of time. Now what I am trying to dis um so now what I just described to you is destructive editing. Now what destructive editing is, it's like basically well it kind of destroys the image so to speak, but layer masks is called non destructive editing. It'll like let you unerase stuff. So if I press control Z to add a layer mask um, right click on the layer you want to add it to and select well click on add layer mask and just leave it on white so click add and you're gonna see two boxes instead of one you're going to see the actual image and you're gonna see the layer mask and um, the layer mask is just pure white right now and I'll tell you what that means in a second but um, if you want to work with the image click on the image if you want to work with a layer mask click on the layer mask so I have the layer mask selected so if I uh, draw on this layer mask um, if you know what layer masks are you'll probably know but um, if I just draw a black mark on this layer mask what it's going to do is it's going to like take that part of the image out and um, it's going to basically do what the eraser did and as you can see, uh, you, you can see the images in these boxes, but you can also see the layer mask, which is just white, but then there's this black mark, which is like right here, so it's the exact same mark. So what this is doing is the layer mask, it'll take um, black and white values, and it'll change the opacity of the layer um, depending on like how gray it is or how black or how white it is how the um so this is just so black it means uh transparent and white uh means 100 percent opaque and a gray value so let's say you pick gray depending on how close it is to black or how close it is to white um it'll determine how opaque it is so if i just select it and then you can see you can kind of see the shoe um under here but um but you can also see the light switch more because it's closer to white but if i get one that's closer to black as you know it'll show the shoe more than it will the light switch so um that's one thing you can do and also um, since white is 100% opaque, if you want to undo anything, I'm just going to get a bigger brush here. If you want to undo anything, just get white and then just paint over the part of the layer mask where you um, want to 
unerase it. So it'll do that, which is really nice. And it's that's the non-destructive editing. You can always go back and just paint over it with um with white. So if I just reset this back to normal. So now if I um so also you can um it's not just the paintbrush that you can use. You can also use the gradient tool or the blend tool and it'll as you can see in the layer mask you can see how um, this part of the layer mask is black which will make this part of the layer transparent but this part of its white so it'll make it opaque and then you can kind of see it blending um, right about like diagonally and um, so that's another really cool thing you can do and also um, if you change the gradient to something else like if I do this or something it'll look really weird one second yeah this is really weird but anyway you can see the layer mask and you can see how it makes it opaque or transparent depending on if it's black or white or anything in between so that is what layer masks do um, they convert black and white um, colors <laughs> that's pretty contradictory but um, black and white um, values and gray values into transparency and they also let you um, like unerase stuff so it's really nice if you're working on a huge project don't use the eraser tool always use the um, layer mask tool it'll save you a lot of time if you ever want to tweak anything um, when the project is done if you want to like you know unerase part of an image you won't have to undo like 2500 actions you've done and then redo them all so um, so that's what layer masks do, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.